the advice I hear over and over on the driving range, or maybe when you're out playing with your buddies is, hey, your swing looks a little long. You might want to shorten it up a little bit. Well, I'm here to tell you, depending on what your golf swing is, that might not be the best advice. My name's Sam Vossler, lead golf instructor for the Sanford Power Golf Academy and my good friends at US Golf TV. And today we're gonna go through a few different golfers that have totally different golf swings, but the matchup and how long their golf swing is the perfect fit for them. So I want you to talk, we're gonna talk through a few different positions that you've probably heard before, maybe while you're watching a golf tournament. Okay, the first one that we're gonna talk about is a position called laid off. So what I want you to think about is where the club head is positioned at the top of the swing. So we got, we got our camera that's uh, facing down the line here. So if I go to the top of the golf swing and this club head is kind of pointing back behind me, that's kind of more of a laid off position. So if you think of some PGA Tour golfers that are in that position, we have John Rahm, Ricky Fowler, um, those are some of the common ones, Sergio Garcia, they're all in that kind of position. Now most of those golfers have a little bit shorter golf swing. Now opposite of that would be across the line. So when we're talking about across the line, we're talking about the club face kind of pointing a little bit more to the right based off this camera angle. Okay. Usually these golf swings are a little bit longer. So you can think of a Freddie Couples, um, the latest craze who's just starting to get on the tour is Matthew Wolf from Oklahoma State. These are golfers that again have completely different golf swings, but at the end of the day it works for them. So that's the great thing about this game. We all have different golf swings and we all just need to find the right matchup. So too often, I see people with different golf swings and the, always the common advice is you need to shorten your golf swing. Well, I'm gonna show you why sometimes this isn't the right advice. So first, let's talk about that position. So if we get into more of a laid off position, I want you to think of John Rahm. So again, relatively short, quick tempo golf swing. You can see how his hands are, you know, out in front, the club's kind of behind. He's in a really good position from here because most golf swings, if you see 90% of them, they're coming and they're coming in from the inside of the golf ball. The club has a little bit lagging behind at this position and they're gonna be able to hit the inside of the golf ball. Now that's not for everybody, but again, this is a common position. Well, for John Rahm, again, if he has a short golf swing, he really doesn't have to have much motion into the golf ball. But since he has such a short golf swing, he, he has little or le less time than maybe a Freddie Couples does coming from that big loop at the top. So he has to have a little bit more across the line to make sure that that matches up for his timing, okay? So again, if he had a big, big swing, it probably wouldn't hurt him too much, but a better position is a little bit shorter, a little bit laid off. Now, if we think of Freddie Couples, we think of something that's really long and flowy that clubs across the line. For this club to make the proper position, you'll see in his golf swing, as he starts to turn, that club starts to work behind and kind of shallow and make a nice loop. Now he's in a very similar position as like John Rahm or maybe a Sergio to some degree, but again, his swing's gonna take much longer to make that loop coming down into the golf ball. So the difference is, is I see a lot of people that tend to have kind of a longer or maybe across the line swing and their buddies are telling them, hey, your swing's getting really, really long. Well, the thing is, if you tell them to shorten their golf swing, they're going to be in trouble and I'm going to show you why. So if we get something that's a little bit across the line, you can see that this club is getting a little bit vertical, okay? So a laid off a swing or something, you're going to see this club kind of work this way. Okay, the opposite is it's gonna straighten like this. So this is really where about Freddie Couples would be in his golf swing. So you can see it's pretty vertical, okay? Well, what we don't know is if we stop the swing right here, let's say an average golfer, and they have a short swing and it's pointing straight up like a lightning rod, they're gonna have a really hard time having enough time to get this club to work behind by the time they get to the golf ball. So what happens too often is this club is coming in really steep, and maybe they're able to make a compensation late, but they're not gonna be able to get that club to shallow soon enough to hit the shot that they like. So if you hear someone that kinda has that type of swing, the last thing they need to do is shorten their swing because it's not gonna give them enough time to get that club behind them. So again, depending on what type of swing you have, it's really gonna depend on the length of your golf swing. So if you think about it, next time you watch your swing or maybe see it in the video, that's gonna kind of determine if you need to have a little bit shorter swing, if that's good advice. Maybe you need to lengthen your swing a little bit to make sure that loop gets around. So the big takeaway here is understanding your golf swing. Not necessarily that the length of it, determining on what type of golf swing you have is gonna determine the length of your golf swing. If you do this, you're on your way to better golf shots.